Uh, this is a copy or slight modification of a Robert, Dr. Robert Beck microelectric device for blood. Now, this was actually developed, the, the, the uh, patent for this was developed in 1991 by Dr. Lyman Cayley in New York Hospital, Einstein Hospital in New York City, 1991. It was a patent that they discovered that when they use this current in blood that was infected with an HIV virus, and it caused the HIV virus not to infect other blood cells. So, um, they have this patent, it's actually, you can look it up, it's actually in the U.S. Patent Office, and it supposedly, the patent says it does not affect uh, or harm any other blood cells. It just causes the virus to um, not affect other cells. Now, as far as it working in the body, that was checked in the Petri dish. So, it's a different story. I don't know how well it works in the body. Probably, I would think, common sense, maybe it does work somewhat. I don't know, but it seems to work in a Petri dish. Now, they found... This has been around for actually a couple of decades, not well known, very controversial. Um, it's been experimented with for against a number of ailments. I don't know how well it works. In theory, I would think so. Now, they use these more off, often in like third world countries, China, where they can't afford the best medical care. Now, what I like about this particular one, though, is a different design. You notice on the wrist, there's a alligator clip attached to a metal strip, and wrapped around that metal strip is a piece of ordinary cloth that is wet with ordinary tap water. The reason you wet it with tap water is because it will conduct electricity. And on the opposite wrist, there is the same thing. Okay? Now, the way the reason I like this particular design, this is actually from Dra www.dragonfly75, the number 75.com. When you turn on the unit, you see the red light flashing. That is flashing four times a second. That means you're actually getting electricity from wrist to wrist. Now, that means you're also getting the proper amount according to the patent that worked in a petri dish. So, now, Dr. Bob Deck claimed that he was able to cure himself of something so what he did from that moment on he went out and was teaching the world about this device because he thought it helped him a great deal and the reason I think he was legitimate in his well let me put it this way he's sincere in his beliefs without a doubt and he is a very credited scientist now, as far as the actual statement that this will cure something, I don't know. I don't know. It seems to work in a Petri dish. But the body is very complicated, so it might not work in the body as well as in a Petri dish. But what I like about this is that you know you're getting a proper current through wrist to wrist. So in other words, if I took off one of these electrodes, see, and if I hold it in my hand, see, it goes back on because it's going through the body. Now, um, the other thing about this unit I like is there's a modification on it that you can check, put it on 40 hertz. Now, the original 4 hertz setting um, was the original design, the original patent. But they found out that you could actually be causing the blood to be more sensitive to if you took herbs or coffee or pharmaceutical drugs at 4 hertz it makes the blood it could make the blood more sensitive to these herbs and coffee or pharmaceutical drugs the 40 hertz pretty much should eliminate that problem from what i read from what i read that should eliminate that problem and but it might you might need to use it a slight amount longer now i use this a couple hours a day some people think an hour an hour and a half is enough that's like a full treatment I've been using it a couple hours a day and I haven't seen any problems with me and I've been doing that for some years and I don't have any problems from day one but you know I could just state that I haven't seen it hurt me and I just like the idea behind it because theoretically um, 
it could probably neutralize a lot more than other things than you know even though they don't like to say that or whatever but it's been used in a lot of uh, experimental treatments in other countries especially China and I trust more from coming from China because I think they have some very smart medical people there they're more open-minded about things like this and it may work I don't know it may work now this unit actually is the original Beck device uh, it's a copy of it a copy of it now this one this is exactly how the Beck device actually works actually the light goes on when it's not plugged in so when you turn this on that means it's getting a proper current it goes red green red green real fast four times a second four cycles and that means the unit is working when you plug it in the light goes off and it's going through the wire and then you go through wrist to wrist now original back design was going through a single wrist but you prob he was being ultra cautious because he was afraid of what he can be accused of I think that was the deal but um, I also want to point out that this unit will make colloidal silver now obviously I don't have the silver rods in the uh, stuff here for that but for instance if you put it in this jack and you flip the switch the other way and you take this if you're if the rods are connect like in other words if the electricity is going through the distilled water as it's collecting uh, silver particles you'll see this amber light come on darker and darker as this solution is being made see I'm making contact here no, don't make contact that's the amber light is for the colloidal silver not for making not for the blood the blood is this unit this one you put it in the other jack jack now I also want to point out something else that's very controversial you can actually and they've done this actually at the turn of the century they call it quackery I don't know they do this in third world countries take an ordinary six volt battery you put a hundred ohm resistor on it use the same wire setup you have the two uh, you know piece of strips of cloth with the stainless steel strip on the inside you're wet with uh, tap water and you attach them to the top here of the battery positive and negative you go wrist to wrist you do with a 100 ohm resistor you go five minutes wrist to wrist and then you switch the leads positive negative five minutes again you do that for about an hour now the one thing is you should never really treat blood with this more than like 30 or 60 days because it becomes very probably say 30 days because it becomes sensitive to um, anything it could be toxins in the air you know it could be the fumes from a diesel truck it could be um, it could be from you know coffee or any types of extra herbs you might take so it could make the blood sensitive but it's been found that you know they've been using this in third world countries that this the actual thing will work against microbes it actually electrocutes them or something I don't know what exactly it does but six volts to the body is nothing now don't ever use more than six volts do not you ever use nine volts do not use 12 volts although that is not a lethal dosage obviously it's not this actually is very minute now I'm gonna say one other thing they use this for controversially and more at the turn of this century and I was still doing it in third world countries today they're not endorsed by the American medical establishment I know that for a fact uh, but they're using it for um, tooth infections and you don't ever put DC through the mind through the brain or anything like that it's very harmful but through the tooth on one side of the jaw to the other side of the tooth they were they have been experimenting with this in China and other third world countries and it was being used in the United States at the turn of the century now a more recent experimental use that came up was using it against another incurable disease called herpes which they say can never be cured but can be treated now what they do is they use one side on the site of where the outbreak is when there is an outbreak okay they use one site they use one side for on where the outbreak is on the um, wherever the outbreak is when one electrode and the other electrode when the outbreak just only when the outbreak occurs of herpes 
the other outbreak, uh, the uh, the other electrode goes on the base of the spine. Now the nerve endings in the body can be several feet long. So what you're actually doing is electrifying along that entire nerve ending. Now controversial, but in other countries they found this has some success. I don't know. It kind of makes sense to me, but and I'm one. I'm a person that uses what makes sense to me you know that's the way I look at things in other words if a small amount of my electricity could um, you know zap a virus uh, to actually get the entire nerve along the entire nerve would make logical sense now I, they don't use this in the United States I know there's people who tried it there's people that said it worked I don't know if it works because there really hasn't been a scientific study that's been endorsed that it works but let me put it this way this is not the type of electricity that's going to kill you obviously because even 12 volts you know but the thing is you never use more than six on the body but this is definitely not you know any kind of lethal dosage of uh, electricity that's for sure but uh, I figured I'd throw that out there and there's been some controversy about what works and what doesn't work and uh, you know, um, I think there is a lot more to this stuff, and actually there's a lot more electro devices that are available for um, reversing um, antioxidants, they'll work like antioxidants and stuff like that by you know, removing electrons, or getting rid of those free electrons that are harming the body, and different things like that. And you know, in theory though, the body is mostly liquid and actually there is a lot of small electricity going through the body so I don't know I think there is something to this type of stuff one controversial medical doctor wrote a book back I think it was about 20 years ago his name was Dr. Robert Becker he was a medical doctor not to be confused with Dr. Bob Beck who is a PhD uh, scientific doctor but Dr. Robert Becker um, did go through a lot of different things about the body electric and there are many many things out there I just figured to point this one out because this one's like the wild I never really tried this so much but I use a device like this that appears like this that puts out DC voltage of this magnitude and I've used it and um, I don't want to say what you know it was uh, in other words it could be used against a specific infection or something like that and it will work it will work sometimes but uh, don't know if, you know if it'll work uh, in many cases or not but uh, it's very experimental but some people swear it does so that's all I gotta say